History is filled with events that have gone unexplained, and some of those events had mysterious circumstances that many people knew about but nobody could explain. And what made them all the more strange were the terrifying details of each case. Here are the 10 most chilling unsolved mysteries in history. Number 10 are the Green Children. Sometime in the 12th century, reapers were working in their fields in Woolpit, a village in Suffolk County, England, when they came across a young boy and girl. Though they appeared human, their skin had a striking green hue. Their clothing was made from materials that the men had never seen before, and they spoke a mysterious, unknown language. Taken in by Sir Richard de Cain, the pair appeared to be starving, but they would only eat beans until they developed a taste for other foods. The boy died from illness soon after, but the sister eventually lost her green color and learned how to speak English. She explained that they were from the land of St. Martin, an underground place with no sun and where everyone is green. The mystery of where these children were from and what happened to that girl still stumps minds today. Number 9 is the Lead Masks Case. On Vintem Hill in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, on August 20th, 1966, a young boy discovered the bodies of Miguel José Viena and Manuel Pieta da Cruz, two Brazilian electronic technicians. They were found wearing formal suits with an empty bottle of water and two wet towels beside them. There were no signs of a struggle, though, oddly, each man wore a lead mask to shield his eyes. But perhaps the most puzzling piece of evidence at the scene was a notebook which contained mysterious instructions directing the men to be at that location in the hills at 4.30 p.m. to ingest capsules just two hours later. Exactly how the pair died is still unknown, but many speculate that they were trying to communicate with beings that were not of this world. Nobody knows if they were killed by overdose or by what they saw. Number eight is the Phantom Barber. In 1942, the town of Pascagoula, Mississippi was flooded with workers helping to build ships for World War II. With 15,000 people arriving, there was bound to be some dangerous individuals among them, but the one that truly made people afraid was a barber. Preying on women and young girls, the phantom barber would break into homes late at night, making a slit in a window screen. He would then give the girls an unwanted haircut taking much as a souvenir. The barber entered 10 houses in total, that is, until the arrest of William Dolan, a German chemist. This convinced police that they had their man, but many believe that the barber just chose a convenient time to stop. There are multiple pieces of evidence which show the true identity of the Phantom Barber is still unknown. Had he been able to continue his spree, perhaps he would not have just stopped at cutting hair, but perhaps throats. Number 7 are the Beaches of Severed Feet. Those who visit the beaches surrounding the Salish Sea should be on the lookout for something bizarre and truly terrifying human feet. On August 20th, 2007, the severed right foot of a man was found inside a size 12 shoe on Jebediah Island, British Columbia, Canada. However, it did not end there, as since then, a shocking 15 more feet have washed ashore on various beaches in British Columbia and Washington State. Disturbingly, 14 of them have been right feet and two were left that matched up with with the rights that were recovered. Authorities have no idea why the feet keep appearing, with theories ranging from it being a sick practical joke being played by a serial killer to the coincidental result of several people taking their own lives off a nearby bridge. Regardless, this mystery is still being investigated literally one foot at a time. 
Number six is who put Bella in the witch elm? On April 18th, 1943, four young boys who were hunting for animals found the body of a woman wedged inside a hollowed witch elm tree in Hagley Wood in Worcestershire, England. When the police examined the area, they found the dead woman's hand was missing, only to discover it quite far from where the body was hidden. In her mouth, investigators found taffeta, a high-end fabric from those days, and they determined that she'd suffocated sometime around October 1941, some 18 months prior. In 1944, graffiti began appearing in the area, alarmingly asking who put Bella in the witch elm. To this date, the victim, the murderer, and the original graffiti artist have yet to be identified. And in a bizarre twist to add to this mystery, the current whereabouts of Bella's skeleton are unknown, as are all the official autopsy reports. Number 5 is Navy Blimp L8. On August 16, 1942, Navy Blimp L-8 took off from Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay with two occupants, 27-year-old Lieutenant Ernest Cody and 38-year-old Ensign Charles Adams. Their mission was to locate and destroy any Japanese subs off the California coast. However, around 7.42 a.m., Cody radioed in that they'd spotted a suspicious oil slick. That was the last that anyone had heard of either man. After a few hours of odd flight, which included losing a bomb during a crash into a hill, the deflated blimp came down on a street in Daly, a city just south of San Francisco. Investigators searched the cabin, but there was no sign of the men anywhere, nor was there any evidence of them being attacked or suffering any failure. Odder still, the radio was in perfect working condition. What happened to Cody and Adams is still unknown. Number four are the Devil's Footprints. On the morning of November 9th, 1855, residents of Devon and Dorset in England awoke to discover fresh snow had fallen in the night. But what came with the powder was something that still baffles people today. Set in the heavy snow were hoof-like footprints that seemed to wind through the towns, even going onto roofs and along walls and into drain pipes. The cloven foot that left them was estimated to be 10 centimeters long by seven and a half centimeters wide. Strides measured between 20 and 41 centimeters apart and traveled between 60 and 160 kilometers, though rarely in a straight line. Whatever left these tracks has never been positively identified, though many who came across them claimed that they were the footprints of Satan himself or perhaps a demon taunting the townsfolk at the Dark Lord's command. Number three is the Sodder family. On Christmas Day in 1945, Jenny Sodder was awoken at one in the morning when her house was suddenly up in flames. Escaping with her husband George, Jenny realized that five of her kids were still in the attic of the house where they slept. Frantically, the family began trying to reach them, yelling and even climbing the outside of the building, but no response came. By the time firefighters arrived, the Sodder's home was burned to the ground, but no trace of the five missing children. Afterwards, many claimed that the children hadn't been in the house when it burned down, citing the lack of cries during the blaze and that there were no remains found in the ashes. The Sodders hired a private detective to look into the missing children, but even he vanished, never to be heard from again. Number two are the Flannan Isles Lighthouse Mystery. 
On December 26, 1900, just over a year after it was first lit, the Flannan Isles Lighthouse was the site of one of the most bizarre disappearances in Scotland's history. Around 12 p.m., the Hesperus, a lighthouse tender vessel, arrived to relieve the three men that were holding it, Thomas Marshall, Donald MacArthur, and James Ducat. However, when they arrived, they found the flag outside was missing, and there was no response to their calls, whistles, or to the distress flare the captain had set off. Upon going ashore, the crew discovered that the door to the lighthouse was unlocked, but none of the three keepers were in the building or anywhere else on the island. Inside, a meal was set out untouched, a chair was overturned, and the clocks were all stopped. To this day, many people still investigate this bizarre disappearance, but all that we do know is that they vanished without a trace. And number one is the Dyatlov Pass incident. On January 27, 1959, 10 ski hikers from the Ural Polytechnical Institute set out from Vizai, a settlement in Sverdlovsk, Russia, on an expedition to Ortorten, a mountain in the Ural Mountain Range. One of the hikers, Yuri Yudin, turned back on the second day due to illness. However, the other nine failed to reach their destination. On February 26th, a search party found the group's tent torn apart from inside, and eight of the nine sets of tracks were found leading away from the campsite. The hikers had torn their way out, terrified of something, and fled so fast that they left most of their clothes and shoes behind. Six of the hikers' bodies were found having frozen to death, while three others had sustained trauma. And of them all, the most terrifying was that one of the female hikers was missing her eyes and tongue. To this day, nobody knows what happened on that mountain pass. Those were the 10 most chilling unsolved mysteries in history. And if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.